I'll tell you what I'll do. We can work on that sterling mud, putting that basing so that way you could see how the texture paint works. Because I know some of you have never used these GW uh, kind of technicals, these texture paints before for basing. So we can go over that if you want. I don't mind. Let's do that. Okay. All right. So let's start with. Hold on, I'm double checking to make sure I didn't miss anything important. Doesn't look like I did. All right, those things I can address later if there is anything else. Okay, so in order to use the GW technicals such as Sterling Mud, okay? So you have your Sterling Mud, it comes in two sizes. It does come in the smaller size too. This is Martian Iron Earth that I've used on the Necrons. So if you want an idea of what Martian Iron Earth looks like, here is what it looks like. Here's on one of the flayed ones, and there's already Agrax Earthshade on there. But still, you get an idea that it's a terracotta color, and when it dries, it's a cracked earth kind of texture. I'm sorry if it's a little hard to see, but you get the idea. So, like I said, it comes in the small size, comes in the large size, right? Here's another supply that you need, just so that you know. You want this little doodad tool which is for the texture paste and stuff and it has two sides it's got a smaller side here and it's got a more larger side for scooping i don't just use this for the texture paints i also use them for like pigment powders for example when i'm trying to get a little bit of pigment powder out and you know put it on in a, in a container or in the palette you can use it for that and I know I said I was going to work on the yellow, but working on the yellow is definitely going to take me longer than uh, 45 minutes. So I'm going to leave that probably for the morning. But I figure, let me show you how to use the technical paints, right? Do not have to thin them. You do not have to add anything to them. You do not have to thin them. Can you use other colors in them to make a mix? Yes, you can. So if you want, you can take in a separate container, that is. You can put some of the texture paint in a little container, and you can mix inks with it you can mix another color with it you can mix some pigment powder with it okay that's something that uh, somebody asked me before that's why I figured let me address it real quick and tell you okay so we got sterling mud we got this little texture doodad and last but certainly not least a crappy brush I use this brush with texture paste all the time this is an old p3 an old uh, p3 brush the work hobby brush basically the workhorse brush uh, it's basically like a size a size two about that same size and I use it for texture paste all the time so as you can see it's really pretty hard and I use it to spread around and put in smaller areas of course you can use this part too but I like to sit there and have both because uh, you know I'm crazy like that right so one thing you want or preferable probably and it'll make your life a lot easier is you want to have something to put your model on you don't want to keep touching the base while you're putting the texture paste on because it will not make your life easy at all it'll make your life harder to be completely honest because you're trying to get around it you'll get the stuff on your fingers it'll be a lot easier for you to just twist it to take off but to initially put on, it's going to be a lot of work. So you see here, let me raise the camera up a little bit. I think that would be helpful. Let me do that. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. All right. I'm going to move the camera up a little bit, if you don't mind, to make it easier for you to see. All right, so we see I took a cork with some blue tack, and you saw me press it down and just kind of twist it just to get it squished in there with the blue tack, and there we go. Terry... And I love when you say terracotta color. <laughs> you guys are great. I love you guys. And, oh, and just in case, for those of you just tuning in, because I always forget to tell people, this is our stream schedule. I will be undergoing surgery soon, so possibly during the course of my recovery from the second week on, I might be on a bit more just so that I don't lose my mind and go crazy so that's a possibility uh, we also have a Facebook group metalhead minis hobby group so be sure to join that as well or send a request to join 
because a lot of people just think it's a music group. It's not. It's for minis. So I take this scoopy thingy, the texture tool, and I mix it in the Sterling mud. And you see here, it's brown, just like regular mud, and you can see it has some texture in it. Basically, it's like it has sand in there. That's basically what it is. A very fine grain of sand. And then you take your texture tool and you just smush it around on there and spread it around. You don't want to spread it evenly because realistically mud is not even. So you want there to be some areas where there's more than others, where it's thinned down and level and some where there's some peaks and valleys and things like that. So you definitely want that. I got the big container because I wanted it to be big enough to handle basing all of my Adeptus Titanicus to match with my battle board. And the Sterling mud is the texture that most closely matches and resembles the texture that is on my battle board. See that? I hope you can see this well and that this has been and that this is being helpful. So I use this for all the big spots. You're going to get some on the feet of whatever it is that you're working on if the model's already on there. If the model is not on there, then what you would do is you can use that opportunity and clean it off right after to take your model, smoosh it in there to make it realistically look like it's stepping in the mud and then just clean it, you know, clean it up real quick. It won't, might not fully clean off, but I mean, if you didn't paint it yet, it's kind of, I guess it's kind of, you know, but if you did paint, it's kind of the chance you got to take, but just an idea. So you just spread it around kind of like it's peanut butter. It's fun stuff. So I do all the big spots first, and then I have the crappy brush for filling in those smaller areas. Or, you know, like I said, if you just have the texture tool, just turn it on its other side, and that works just as well, too. So you see there, I almost am right at the feet, but I'm not really touching them. Just barely. And I'm trying not to go over around the edges there, because when I paint it black, I want it to look neat obviously there we go oh boy trying to get right under those feet there this is another thing that this tool is great for is things like getting underneath the feet of the of the see there how I got under there it looks like chocolate. It looks like Nutella. Yes, it does. Stop. Don't do that to me. I don't want to be hungry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Game Father. I'm so glad you're on today. Thank you again for the for the gift that you sent. Game Father was very kind. Sent me uh, a sticker with his new logo. And sent me a thank you card. For always pushing him to keep painting and stuff. And I'm very glad that I can do that for you and I'm glad that that makes you happy. And thank you for your support and always being on and watching. Half the time, I'd love to watch all his streams, but half the time you just go on either while I'm working or I'm going to sleep. I go to sleep, I, I go to sleep early because I get up at the crack of ass, y'all know that. I'm too old for all that staying up. Oh, I'm going to stream at 10, 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> uh -uh. I'm not doing that. No, no. <laughs> yeah, tripping. <laughs> ah, sleeping. I'm trying to make sure to get that. And then if you go over it a little bit and you don't mind it, just kind of run your finger, like I'm running my finger around the edge there. And then 
get in there. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, there's people, I was in response to Halo's message, she was saying that Metalhead Mini's hobby group sounds like a metal band of, of little people, and I was, <laughs> I guess that's why people keep thinking it's a music group, you know, a group that people share concerts that are going on and stuff, and I'm like, no, no, no. I, I am a metal musician, that's how the, the company got its name, but... Or part of how the company got its name, but no, this isn't a a music group. Let me see here. Gotta continue getting those bigger spots there. Got a little more valley over there than I wanted, so I'm gonna move that around. Don't be afraid to it takes it a little while to dry not too long like I mean this isn't like oil paints where you go back to it and then the same I mean you can add more later you could do that but this dries like texture paste so you have some time to work with it but not not a crazy amount of time just so that you're aware I'm trying to be careful so excuse pardon my awkward pause of silence there we go gotta make sure to get under those feet they're awkward man all right and get into that the other side there now when you finish using a certain part of it I suggest you know the texture tool I suggest you wipe it you can use a paper towel I got a wet paper towel right here that I'm using to wipe it off doesn't have to be perfectly clean. You'll use it again for other dirty nastiness, but at least wipe it down to take the texture off and stuff like that, if nothing else. So like I said, just, and I'm just gonna do this assuming that this is all you have is the small tool, and we're gonna go in with the smaller side there, and just kinda you can go in sideways and push the texture paste around, get up closer to the feet there. And then just kind of, there we go. See how I got right in between the feet there? And I used the smaller side of the tool. That's what I did to do that. There you go. And you just continue, go in between the foots, in between the tootsies. That's what we call them here in the house, the feet, the, the toes, tootsies, in front of the tootsies. Let me see. Get under that foot there again. I'm double checking myself. Did I get all the area of the foot? No, there's still a small spot there. So we're going to grab that. Bam. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. There we go. Making sure I got everything I did. Continuing with the smaller part of the tool. Getting in between the toes there. there and some dirt's gonna be in between the toes realistically and that's okay so if I get some on the feet you want there to be some because realistically if they're stepping in the dirt there's gonna be some on there the feet are not gonna stay perfectly clean that's just kind of silly that's kind of silly dilly get the edge and there what do you guys think? Thank you. I stream it at like eight your time. Yeah, see? There you go.